actually never felt like we had a rest day. No. And even if maybe we weren't in the heavy combat action moments, it still still felt like something. There was so much tension going on. Yes. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? (laughs) The biggest takeaway for me is how incredible Kaylee Spiney is. Um, I want to know what you saw in her that made her the perfect choice for Jesse. Kaylee, you know, she's atypical in some way with actors. She's like the background she's from, the like her attitude, she's tough. Uh, yeah, she's not physically huge, but you should have seen her running around all these soldiers and muzzle flashes and shells getting ejected from weapons and bouncing off her. And uh, she's she's just tough. She's very, very tough, uh, committed. And I'm curious, uh, who was a, a Lee for you? Someone early in your career who kind of showed you the ropes from the perspective of a seasoned actor? A lot of people have influenced me um, in the, the roles that I've taken, like working with Jillian Armstrong and Little Women and all these like really incredible women like Susan Sarandon and Winona Ryder and Claire Danes at the time left a really big impression for me. And then working with Sofia Coppola at a certain age in my career where that female um, female relationship between us meant the, meant a lot to me in terms of how I viewed myself in this industry and how others view me. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. I grew up around journalists, a, a sort of older form of journalist, but um, uh, my, my dad was a cartoonist on a newspaper and so his friends were all journalists. Uh, there, was, there was lots of stuff, there is lots of stuff in the film, but actually just that bar is, is a journalist thing. These these bars where journalists will all congregate in some city and wherever it is, whatever country they're functioning as correspondents and and sort of shoot the shit and uh, um, uh, undermine each other and prop each other up at the same time. What was the scene that, that try as you might, it just, it, it presented so many obstacles the day of filming that, that you almost maybe were afraid you couldn't get it? <laughs> In the real, in reality? Yeah. Uh, well, the scenes that really presented that are not in the film. So we shot them, they just didn't work, so they're not in the movie. Um, in terms of the ones that remain in the movie, it's often, it's really small stuff that makes it problematic. So there was a scene where uh, Kirsten and Wagner are talking outside a hotel while uh, Stephen and Kaylee are sitting in the car looks like such a straightforward scene. There were some really complicated problems to do with traffic, coverage, light, the speed we had to get the scene. And you would think something like that. You look at it, you think, okay, that's on day five, no problem, we'll just knock that off. And then you get there and it turns into a, like, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna say the word that's in my mind. It, it, it just, uh, it gets difficult. I actually never felt like we had a rest day. No. And even if it was, maybe we weren't in the heavy combat action moments, it still felt like something. there was so much always. tension going on. Yes. And we were really trying to get it right every day. It was such a, uh, it was a funny, it was hard to keep that balance the whole time. You don't know what side they're fighting for. Someone's trying to kill us. We are trying to kill them. Usually stories for me begin, pretty much always actually, they begin with the ending. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out how, how we get there. What's the sequence of events? You, you, could, you can almost try it as a sort of easy thought experiment. If you, if you take the last five minutes of a film, the, the sequence of events that lead you there may almost be inevitable once you break apart the constituent parts of that five minutes. And what I'm saying is, if you have the ending clear in your mind, you can work backwards from it. You can, you can sort of reverse engineer it. Well, I'm curious, what is the biggest message you would like people to, to take away with them coming out of the theater? This is hard. I mean, I, it's very hard for me. I don't really think that 
films have a message. Like I think there's so many different reads. People read fi films so differently, and I think that's beautiful. For me, for myself, when I wrapped uh, this film, I really try to start to listening to people that think differently, to think politically, people that think politically different from me. You know, I was, I used to be a very like kind of confrontational uh, uh, person. And now I think more than ever, it's time to, to, to listen to each other. I'm more, I'm really trying to listen, to listen to you right now. It actually talk less and listen more. Go, 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 go. God bless America.